What's good, my Jesus? Your boy Snow Ignorant Gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? If you don't already know, G stands for gamers. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel for the first time. If you're here because of the headline, and you know what? Let me just, let me. I, I kind of want a bomb. I kind of want a bomb. Yo, hashtag IGZ up if you already subscribed. You already know. Y'all down with this with the squad. Y'all not subscribers. Team IGZ. Yo, I am the resident PlayStation gamer on this channel. There's multiple of us. Multiple of us here. Right? The Xbox dude, Uncle Riz, made a video. We gave a review on the demo. And uh, that video is getting a lot of attention right now. I think right now, currently, it has more thumbs down than thumbs up. I think it's like 31 thumbs up, 35 thumbs down at the time of me recording this video. Today is release day of the actual video. To be exact, the time I'm recording this is about 9.53 p.m. There are two critical reviews missing. Right? This is the embargo shit. I'm turning this into an IGZ topic video. In the background, depending on how much I start rambling, you might see some drive club, and that is a subliminal shot, right? I'm going to do my best to stay focused, and when I put that drive club on the screen, you can exit out. Once you see the drive club on the screen and you stay on, you okayed the fact to hear me bitch complain or praise. All right? That's the deal I'm making with you guys. Again, when drive club hit the scene. When Drive Club hits the screen. I'm just rambling. This is a rambling video, people. I'm just rambling. So, again, when you get to the Drive Club stuff, you, you, you're more than welcome to stop watching. Because I've probably already been past my point. This morning, I randomly woke up at 4.30 a.m. It just so happened to be the embargo lift for Gran Turismo Sport. Shout out to Shadow of Mortar, sh sorry, Shadow of War, whose review came out the Thursday or the Friday before the Tuesday that the game came out. Shout out to Forza 7. When the game came out before, the review came out before the, the, the early access trial or the early access version of the game, not the demo, right? If you bought the $100 package. The reviews that I seen this morning, I was ignoring them because I saw the little catchy head title, the headlines, and I just, you know, like I did what I had to do and I tried to get some more Z's before I went back to work. But meanwhile, periodically, all day at work, whenever I had a chance to, because I don't get many opportunities, I was just like, yo, where's the, where's the, where is the IGN in progress? Right? Where is it? Where's the video? Because I don't have time to read. Play the video, I can listen to it and get a good gauge on it now i already own the game i just want to know what y'all saying that's it and one of the big deals is because this game is online centric arcade mode if you're offline but you don't own no credits until the online comes on who wants to deal with that shit shout out to drive club there is there's just less to do with the game if you're not connected to the online this is destiny all over again by the way right this online thing it can be a problem now i can see two people who are gt fans that do not see an issue with this one is well i only race online to other people anyway i get that i get you i understand you yo you cool however you should have an issue with another issue of the game. The other people is, ah, uh, well, I was gonna do arcade mode anyway, so whether I get the credits or not, that's no big deal. And somehow I wanna say, all right, whatever, you, you got that. I'm, I'm not gonna argue with you there. But it's becoming ever more apparent to me when I seen, finally seen the IGN review in progress story. I had lunchtime, I read the shit on my lunch. There's a lot of things that line up with the Arch Technica review, the the who who is the Eurogamer, and then the Game Radar review, and, and like a lot of people, even though Games Radar gave it like a four out of five, I think it was, and Trusted Reviews is like seven out of ten or something like that. This is a C game. I've been saying this for a while. It was gonna be a C game. 
it don't it doesn't seem like they did what they needed to do in order to get this game to be what Gran Turismo fans have been waiting for the reason why it is the year 2017 and they've waited since 2013 to buy a PlayStation 4 however these motherfuckers gonna buy it anyway they gotta play it anyway you don't have a choice because Gran Turismo is in those veins baby what else are you gonna play but the cars you're not playing drive club shout out to drive club drive club is the one of the best i'm gonna keep saying this best visually looking video games period one console and one of the best visually looking period games on the ps4 especially in the driving market now project cars is no slouch especially with the 60 frames per second man that's buttery smooth so gran turismo fans have waited for this game for this sport game it's like a reboot and it doesn't really seem like the reboot or the fresh start or the refresh or whatever you want to call it is going all that fucking well because a lot of people are saying the same shit and if you want to get real technical and i get real blabbery it really seems like the only real issue drive club had which sold two million by the way and that this is two million within release window this isn't two million to date the only real issue driver club ever had was the fact that whatever the hell e uh, uh, evo was doing with that back end for the servers that's literally the only thing they got wrong even if the game came out as a c plus or a b as a new franchise that is okay see gran turismo does not get that type of leeway you are a legacy game. You're the reason why Forza exists today. To be honest with you, Gran Turismo is the reason why Forza exists. The only reason why I'm giving Forza Motorsport some fucking props right now is because it comes from Sega GT. That's a legacy right there. People like to say Project Cars. Nah. Sega GT B. Sega GT B. Alright? So, with that said, Drive Club is better than Gran Turismo, and I haven't even played the full game yet. That, 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 that's, that, that's all I really wanted to say. Like, fuck all y'all who's running around here saying, oh, yeah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck Drive Club. You bitches should have been on the PS4 helping our community grow so that way we can come play in your shit and we can fucking, you know, your C, Mary his C, all that other shit all up in the PlayStation family. Fuck y'all. Fuck you, GT Sport motherfuckers. I see what y'all putting on the other video. You talking about, it, it, actually, you know what? I, 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 I had to give Rizzo a piece of my mind, too, about the Rumble Trigger comment. Because I knew, I knew, I knew, I just knew my fellow Sony brethren would take offense to that. I knew they would. I knew they would. It's, it's, it's just inevitable. It's written on the wall. It's like, it's like back in the days, we out here playing SOCOM 2 online, and a motherfucker comes in a room and go. Yo, yeah, I need to get that ghost work. Yo, vote him out. You fucking come in here talking about no ghost recon. Vote this bitch out, right? Anyway, I think I'm done, Ran. I just wanted to do this video because this shit's crazy. I I, I want to know what y'all experiencing. And I know y'all looking for videos to rain on. That's another reason why I'm making a video. It, it, if you're part of the channel already, I know y'all don't have snow like this. So I, they're, they're loving this. In the comment section, they loving this. They're probably texting me. But for you new motherfuckers, Y'all got to deal with it. Y'all might as well buy Drive Club as well. Help get my community up and running so we can get your community up and running. Matter of fact, we don't even want y'all no more. GT Sport, take that shit. It's going to take four years because I know some asshole is going to come and say, Well, Gran Turismo 6 is, is, is amazing right now. You should go home and, 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 and re-download the game and install it. It's going to take forever. And, and, and you can see that it's not the same game when it launched. How much longer do i have to wait for gt sport to be great huh shout out to sim city how much longer do i gotta wait for gt sport to be great how much longer do us playstation owners gotta wait for greatness on shit that we actually bought the console for i'm not talking about the overall console I'm talking about those who bought games for specific stuff shout out to h hour though h hour is coming so calm h hour so calm h hour if you own a PlayStation, this is what I'm gonna tell you to do right now. GT Sport, that is what it is. We don't have a Cuphead, right? 
go play Hob. H O B. I'm I'm not even joking. That's like Legend of Zelda shit. This is that shit we play. We play we would we we would play Cuphead if we had it, but you know we don't. I mean I got it. I'm playing it. But GT Sport embargoes. It's extremely limited. But again, if you're an online person, you don't care. This is a rant video, people. Your boy Snow Ignorant Games and I'm going peace. Coming home.